Well, overall, I thought that was a great box. Whenever you have a chance to break some basketball and you get to pull a Lonzo Ball rookie card out of a box, you know it was a great break. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, we're good. Cool, that went great. Oh, you thought that went great? I carried you through that, Doug. You were dry as paint. You added absolutely nothing to that box break. You got to do better next time. Hey, Tim, can you send this Lonzo car that I just pulled off for grading for me? Yeah, just put it by my desk over there. Okay. What a worthless loser. Just an idiot. Jeff's right about me. Dry as paint. No, no, he's not right. Jeff wants personality. I'll give him personality. This episode is brought to you by eBay. eBay is here for the card collectors with a trick for every trade like advanced tools for price checking with price guide beta within the eBay app and up to 50% faster listing with image scan. Learn how collecting just got smarter at ebay.com forward slash trading hub. Made it to Nashville. I'm on a mission to replace Jeff's prized Lonzo Ball card. While we're here, we might as well check out this show. All right, I'm here with Tyler Santiago of Santiago Sports, uh, co-sponsor of this mm -hmm. event, right? Tell me a little bit about that. So, Music City uh, Card Show in Nashville. Um, Three-day show, ton of great signers. We got Ric Flair here, Ooh. Lawrence Taylor, a uh, bunch of other wrestlers, Ricky Henderson, guys like that. Um, so what we're doing here is we're helping them uh, promote this event. Uh, Rich Altman, who re just recently passed away, uh, rest yeah. in peace. Great, great guy, hobby legend. Uh, his basically his predecessor's right hand man who took over, Brendan, asked me to help promote, and I was like, I would love to. You know, Rich was a great guy, and he always treated me well. So here we are, and the show's it's, it's been awesome so far. So you mentioned all the athletes, all the celebrities are here doing the signing. It's super impressive for the show. Yeah. Outside of that, what are some unique things about the show that you've noticed compared to other card shows? So this show, I walked in the first time uh, when I got here Thursday to check it out when people were setting up. Yeah. I mean, the venue's like great. It's, it's huge, there's so much space. You got the stadium seating. We're gonna do be doing a panel in a bit. Nice. Um, I mean, it's just like so open and so like flowing and there's so much more potential to have more tables here and everything too. 100%, it is a really great venue and a lot of room for expansion. Mm -hmm. The stadium seating really does help mm -hmm. out a lot as well. So I've noticed a ton of memorabilia here. It's really split actually between cards and memorabilia. Yeah. Is that is that going to be the theme going forward with, with the show? Uh, you're always gonna get memorabilia when you have a lot of signers. Yeah. A lot of these people are local to memorabilia because it costs so much to like, you know, yeah. transport it. But it's definitely a good mix of like newer vintage and the memorabilia. Because you got people coming here for all different kinds of stuff, so it's good to have a balance between you know the markets. Of course. And listen, you're a store owner as well, yeah. right? So I'm very interested to get your take on something specific. Okay. Fanatics news. Oh, you're boy. a store owner. What's going through your mind in the past week with all the new news out? So you gotta look at a couple things. So people are kind of contradicting what other people are saying. So you had Luber at you know the, the summit talking about how like, oh we're gonna take care of LCS owners, like that's gonna be one of our main goals. And you got Ruben on whatever he was on, yeah. saying, oh, we want to be more direct to consumer. So I think what eventually is going to happen is a lot of these distributors, I think those guys are going to suffer more than anything because they get it direct and then they distribute to the consumers. So I think 
guys like that are gonna take a big hit if they're even gonna be around. But LCS is, I, I was kind of worried at first, but there's just way too much more that needs to happen before I actually know what is gonna happen. Yeah. I gotta talk a little business now. Okay. Please tell me somewhere here you've got a Alonzo Ball base Prism rookie. I do not. The only Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. I have Lamelo. I don't have any Lonzo. The, the search continues. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. So I've come all the way to Nashville just to hang out with one of my friends from Atlanta. I got Raphael here, the Prism God Culture Collision. How are hey, you? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? I'm just enjoying the show. Hey. Have you been to Nashville before? Yeah, I've been in Nashville. It's just been a while. I've yeah. been a car show in Nashville, so this is really exciting for me. Same for me as well. Cool. So the people that are buying and selling, what's hot right now? What are people asking for? Uh, Justin Herbert, Tom Brady, LeBron James. I mean, we're in basketball. Basketball's about to start up soon. So listen, we're here at this card show. There's a ton of people from the hobby here. Yeah. Any buzz about this Fanatics news? Anybody talking about Fanatics at all? I just try to stay optimistic okay. about it. I mean, I, I look forward to the future of what a Fanatics has to offer. I like that. I yeah. like that. So listen. You guys do Culture Collision, right? It's When's correct. your next show? Actually, it's February 25th, 2022, and it's going to be the largest sports car show in, in the South. Largest sports car show in the South? Yes. I love that, man. Yeah, it's over 500 it. tables. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's pretty. It's Atlanta. we got to go big. So now i got a completely different question. Okay. I need to find Lonzo Ball. Have you seen any Lonzo Ball? Do you have any Lonzo Ball cards? Lame Lonzo Ball? <laughs> We're here with my buddy Jay from Mojo Sports. Jay, how's it going? Dude, doing good, man. Hey, Always man. good to see you. Good to see you, man. We're in Tennessee. Is this your first time in Nashville? Never been here before. Oh, man, you should have dressed the part. I know, let me borrow your hat. Uh, the hat stays on, the hat stays on. So this is the second Music City show. Give me your impressions of it so far. Yeah, man, uh, you know, anytime I go to a card show, I've said this all in all my videos, the card show is what you make it. We can be in Tennessee, <laughs> we can be in Alabama, we can be in New York, we can be in Cali. We can be in Montana, and either way, I, I'm able to make connections and make deals. There's people that, you know, follow a lot of our social yeah. media, and, and that's the community aspect, and that's the best part for me. So it doesn't really matter where we are. We I just, love that answer, we just, man. We gotta make time for it, though. That's I the key. I love that. So give me some aspects of this show you feel are unique. Like, for me, it's a ton of memorabilia here. What are you seeing that stands out? Yeah, so I wanna give a shout out to Hollywood Collectibles, shout out to Fitterman Sports. They're big into the autograph memorabilia yeah. industry, and, I, and I've known them for, five to seven years. That's your, I, that's, that's your angle. That was yeah. my thing. I started with memorabilia and I knew uh, Dave Glaskin for years and, and Ryan Fitterman. So they've actually headlined this show. They brought uh, Ric Flair out. They brought Ricky Henderson. They yeah, brought a ton yeah, of names yeah. out. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Cause that, that kind of, cool. that gives everybody a little, cause not everybody's into cards. I think all of us kind of dabble into both. Like you want the occasional, you know, it's frame jersey. You want right. the PSA 10 of like the player. You want a Hall of Famer. And I think you mix that well together and it, it's good for the hobby. That's awesome. What are your thoughts on what's going on with Fanatics and the latest news? Uh, you know, I think we just got to double down right now. I, I think you. we got to enjoy what we have and everybody just needs to calm down and just, you know, come together. Maybe let it play out a little bit you first. You got to let it play okay. out. Everyone wants to freak <laughs> out. We got to chill out right now. All right, all right, now I got a business question for you. All right. I've got to replace Jeff's Lonzo Ball card. I need a Lonzo Ball Prism. Do you have one? Dude, I just sold my Lonzo Ball Prism rookie to Ryan, card collector. Ryan? Too. Oh, you're kidding me. It's gone. Okay. Uh, always good to catch up with you, Jay. Thank you so much. Hey, man, I hope you find a Lonzo Ball. I got to. There's got to be I one on this show. I'm not going home with that one. You better not. All right, guys, we're out here in Nashville. Was going through some value box today. Picked this up. Not really sure why I bought it, but it's a Lonzo Ball Prism rookie card. Pick Card collector, too. I got a score to settle with you. Listen, cowpoke. One way to settle this. With a pack showdown. Alrighty, man. Draw. 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 Justin Herbert. I think you know who won this. It's time to hand over the Lonzo. I want you out of Nashville by sunset. Now get. Go on now get. Hey, did you move this? No. Huh.